Hey there, Falcon fans. This is Stickster. I had a question come in on the channel about audio side chaining in Falcon. And the thing to know about side chaining is it is a method of compression where you trigger the compressor based on another audio source, not the actual audio that you are trying to compress. And this is used a lot in electronic dance music, and you'll hear it in many other types of music as well. So for example, uh, often a kick or other transient will be the sidechain source, and then you'll compress other material based on that. And it allows the kick or whatever the transient material is to kind of pop through. Uh, you'll also find this used a lot on vocal effects. So for example, the vocal will be used as a sidechain to compress the effects. And what happens is the effects will duck out of the way of the main vocal. And then when the vocal stops, when the singer stops their note, the effects will come back. Uh, and it's a way of making sure that the vocals stay up front. Now you can use this same uh, type of uh, situation in Falcon. The only issue being that um, there are two limitations. So you have to do this all within Falcon. You can't do it with any external audio because Falcon has no audio input from other sources. Uh, the other limitation is you can't do it with the compressors that are on board because none of them have a sidechain control on them. But there is a way to make Falcon do this because when you think about it, all that compression is doing is changing the gain on a sound and it's doing it uh, based on some uh, input. Usually it's the sound itself. But what if you could trigger that based on another sound, uh, an envelope that was running that sound. Uh, that is what I'm going to show you here. So I've got a simple patch here, and this is uh, just a two-layer sound. Uh, here I've got a synth on layer one. Great. And then we've got a kick drum on layer two. And the only reason that these are separated with uh, the synth on the high part of the keyboard and the kick on the low part of the keyboard is just so I can play them more easily here. And I've got these set to fixed volume so that this will be very easy for you to hear. Now, when you're doing this across layers, uh, what you can do is you can use a program level envelope uh, for this purpose. Now, there's a trick to this. So what you're going to do is start with your source for the sidechain. In other words, what is the sound or what is the part of the patch that is going to trigger the compressor? Here it's going to be a kick. We're going to sidechain compression on the synth using the kick. So we go to the layer of the kick and we're going to add another uh, another oscillator here. Um, this is just a simple analog oscillator. It doesn't matter what it is. We're going to turn it off. This is key. We turn off that, that sound. So you still just hear the kick. Then we go to the program layer and we are going to add an envelope. You can use any envelope that has a uh, legato trigger mode, but really the best thing uh, is the analog ADSR. That's the easiest way to do this. We're going to switch the trigger mode to legato and we're going to change this to attack decay mode. Uh, there are reasons that you don't want to use sustain and release here uh, because of the fact that we are kind of exploiting uh, uh, a, a, an undocumented feature uh, in Falcon here. Uh, so then we're going to set the decay up just a little bit. I'm going to do this so that the envelope is pretty broad, and that way you're going to be able to hear what happens. Now, we're going to run this envelope, and we are going to make sure our kick layer is selected here. Make sure that our oscillators are disconnected, so I'm not using this envelope on the actual kick, but only on this oscillator, the dummy oscillator that I've added. I'm going to throw this onto the gain, and if I play the kick, you're going to see that this gain is actually working, but you don't hear anything because I have the oscillator turned off. All right. That is part of the trick. We do need to do that. Um, the next, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the synth layer. And again, we're going to pull this program level ADSR, and we're going to have this control the gain on the synth layer. So we're going to throw that on there, and then we are going to turn the modulation down. And what's going to happen now is that uh, the key that I hit for the kick will actually be turning down the gain on the synth. And I'm going to trigger this kick so you can see the little pip up here, what it does. Awesome. And now you can hear when I play the synth, I'm going to play the synth. I'm going to just going to hold the notes out and I'm going to trigger this kick. And what you're going to hear is you're going to hear the synth 
ducking out of the way. All right, pretty cool. And of course, you can use the decay to change the uh, the length of that compression. Um, that would be uh, sort of the release that you would have on a compressor. You can turn this down, say to uh, 20, 25 milliseconds, and it's going to be much less pronounced. It's only going to be getting out of the way of the kick transient now. So that's pretty transparent. Um, you can also use the uh, size of the modulation to determine how much the synth is going to duck. If I turn this down a good bit, it will still duck, uh, but it won't be quite as pronounced. Very, very uh, transparent, but you are getting that, that, uh, that ducking. Again, if I turn this way up and turn the decay way up, you're going to hear that ducking uh, very pronounced. All right, you can also use this same trick uh, at the key group level, uh, and you would use a layer level uh, envelope rather than what we're doing here, which is we're doing this across layers using a program level envelope. Remembering that compression is just a tool that allows you to change the gain on a sound uh, is what makes this possible. So I hope this gives you some ideas for whatever you're creating in Falcon and whatever that is. I hope you share it with the world because that's what creativity is all about. And I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon, and I'll see you next time.